Hello everyone. Let's today discuss percentage and its applications. Now what exactly is percent? A fraction with denominator equal to 100 is called percent. That means if you need to find percent of any number, divide it by 100. For example, 17 when divided by 100 gives us what? 17% 2 divided by 100 gives us 2% The symbol used for percent is percent only which stands for divided by 100 So please don't get confused while expressing a percentage it is not multiplied by 100 but actually divided by 100 Expressing percentage as fraction Now as we discussed Take the percent, divide by 100, write it in the lowest possible form. That means simplify it, cut out the factors. The remaining number will be our fraction. Let's take a look at an example. We have 5%. Now 5% means basically 5 divided by 100. Now 5 and 100 are divisible by 5 and the answer comes out to be 1 upon 20 in the lowest possible form. This 1 by 20 is my fraction. Expressing percents as decimals. We follow the same funda. Take percent, divide by 100, write in the decimal form. Example 45 percent. Now 45 percent will be written as 45 divided by 100 which in the decimal form comes out to be 0 0.45 which is a decimal answer. Converting ratios into percents Now, whatever ratio is given to you multiply that ratio with 100. After dividing in the lowest possible form, we get a percent. For example, 3 ratio 5. If I have to convert 3 ratio 5 into percent, I will multiply it by 100. Now 5 and 100 are divided with a common factor 5 and I get the last answer to be 60. That means my answer will be 60 percent when I convert 3 by 5 into percent. Whenever we have to convert into percentage, we multiply. Finding percent of a quantity. Here I have an example for you. We have 50 marbles. 24% of those marbles are red marbles. We have to find the number of red marbles. Now, number of red marbles will be what? 24% of how many marbles? We had 50 marbles, so therefore, number of red marbles will be 24% of 50 marbles. 24%. Now, whenever percentage sign comes, that means it is divided by 100. 24% means 24 by 100 into 50. We cut out the common factors and we get 12 as an answer. That means Number of red marbles in this particular question is 12. Let's have a look at another example. Find the amount 20% less than rupees 150. Now here we need to find a value which is lesser than 150 and by how much 20%. Now step 1 is Take 20% of rupees 150. Now 20% 20 of 150 comes out to be 20% 20, 20 by 100 into 150. Again, dividing with the common factors, the answer comes out to be rupees 30. Second step, since I needed amount to be less than rupees 150, therefore I subtracted 20% of rupees 150. 
from rupees 150 20 percent was rupees 30 150 minus 30 comes out to be rupees 120 this is the amount 20 percent less than rupees 150 let's have a look at another example find the amount 5 percent more than rupees 600 now here we need to find amount which is greater than greater than 600 step 1 is take 5 percent of rupees 600 5 percent means 5 by 100 of 600 means multiply by 600 cutting out the common factors we get this amount to be rupees 30 that means 5 percent of 600 is 30 step 2 we need amount 5 percent more that means add 5 percent of rupees 600 to rupees 600 which comes out to be 600 plus 30 this is equal to rupees 630 this means rupees 630 is 5 percent more than rupees 600 next we come forward to expressing one quantity as a percent of another quantity let's have a look what percent is rupees 50 of rupees 250 now first of all we have to see out of rupees 250 rupees 50 can be written as 50 upon 250 converting that into percentage I get 50 upon 250 into 100 that is 20 percent this implies rupees 50 is what 20% of rupees 250 hope you understood percentage see you soon with the next lesson on unitary method thank you